Today we're going to use the door making program or plugin to make a bifold door. So cabinet doors by themselves are similar but they're not quite the same. But with a little bit of editing we can make this thing work. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do this one in Imperial. So let's change the model. We're going to change it to uh, inches, fractional, um, as accurate as we can get. And the reason for that is uh, if you haven't started up the door maker, it will read the appropriate defaults file. So if you're in metric, it'll read metric. If you're in imperial like we are, it'll read imperial. So here we go. We're going to now open up the cabinet door maker plugin and we're going to change it to white. You can see that it's in imperial and we're going to change it to start off with with a square door. This this bifold door is going to have a single cathedral on the top and it's going to have a square panel on the bottom. So it's going to have two panels and it's going to be a 30 inch wide bifold by 80 inches high by inch and a half thick. Having said that, the, the bottom one we're going to go with a 30 inch height. So it's a 20 inch panel plus 5 inches for the styles and rails. The door panel thickness is going to be 1 and 3 eighths of an inch thick. And we will go with a complete door thickness of 1 and a half inches thick. Okay, and the width now. Okay, well, bifold's 30. So divide that by 2 is 15, right? Well, not quite. We're going to end up cutting the style down. It's a five inch style. We're going to cut it down by two and a half inches. So we need a door that's actually 17 and a half inches wide. And we will end up cutting it down. So everything here looks good. OK, and we're going to start off by building the first part of the door. Now we need to do the cathedral, the top part. So it's very similar in the fact that it's the same thickness, the same style widths, the same uh, we don't want to go draw a gap, but that's okay. We'll just change that to zero. Um, and uh, the door height, we're going to change to 50 inches. And the width is quite the same. It is 70 and a half, same width. And we're going to change to a single cathedral door. There we go, second door. Now, we're going to get this door, the, the two door parts ready. So this is a component. We're going to go into the component and we're going to pick these three pieces and we're going to move them five inches up. Why? We want a 10 inch bottom rail. Okay, we want it a little bigger like on most doors. So we're going to hit the M, move straight up. So while we're, while we're in line, we want it to go straight up five inches type in five inches and there we go okay now what we want to do is we want to uh, pull the bottom part down a little hard to see so let's change the profile and a little more accuracy and orbit this around a little bit we'll edit into here until we see the little dots on that little part, hard to see, I know. Hit the P for the push pull, pull it down, and you're good to go. Now we want to uh, make a few other changes. The other changes will be we're going to uh, edit these as well, and we're going to pull them up. This time we're going to pull them up 50 inches, and we're going to go to the other side as well. And we're going to pull him up 50 inches as well. So pull him up a ways, type in 50, hit enter. We're good. So we now have one part of the door. So this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to explode it. It doesn't need its complete components. We only need a couple parts of it. OK, we've now exploded it. Now we're going to delete that part, that part, and that part. Don't need them. Take, take them, copy them, and we're going to go into here, and we're going to 
paste them. Okay, and now we're going to take this part and move this top corner and pull him into place. We're almost done. The only thing to go is we want to adjust this guy, this style, and reduce his size to one half of its. So we're going to push him by 2.5 inches. Okay, now that we have that, there's your one part of your bifold. Copy him, paste him over. Okay, then let's go and uh, flip him along the red axis. Move him, pull him into place. Now we've got Now we can leave these as two halves or we can explode them both and uh, turn them into one, whatever you want to do. So all right, let's let's explode them both. Grab them all, make component 30 inch bifold. Now we have a 30 inch bifold. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye now.